In this video, serial data communication between Arduino and Python is demonstrated. This communication is established over the Ethernet network. In this block diagram, we have the Ethernet shield connected to the UNO. The shield has a MAC address and also an IP address, which can be obtained from the modem router. The data communication between the UNO and the Python sketch is done over the Ethernet network. Computers and peripherals connect to each other over a network using sockets. A socket is a communication endpoint that enables connections to be made and data to be transmitted in both directions. Python supports sockets through the module socket. In Python, we can create a socket by first importing the module and then using the function socket, which has two arguments. The first argument determines the addressing type, if it's uh, IP version 4 or it's IP version 6. The second argument determines the data transmission protocol, whether we, are, we have TCP or UDP. In this uh, video, I'll be focusing on data transmission using UDP. In this first demonstration, we have a Python GUI which is designed to transmit a string message to the Arduino. The Arduino will receive the message and then apply a simple processing by converting all the letters of the message to uppercase and then sending them back to the Python GUI. We begin by looking at the Python sketch. We import the socket module and we create a tuple address which contains two values. The first value is the IP address of the Ethernet shield and the second would be the port number through which the two peripherals or two devices will communicate. Next we create a socket using the socket function which has two arguments. The first argument as mentioned before is the IP version 4 and the second argument would be the UDP data protocol. Then we have this function set timeout for one second means that when the, we, uh, that the program will wait for one second. If there's uh, no connection between the two peripherals, then a, an exception will be thrown. The GUI is designed using tkenter module. The user will enter a string message and click on the transmit button. The program will jump to this function definition where we get the string and copy it into the string variable. And then using function send to, which is part of the socket module. This function has two arguments. The first argument is the data to be sent and the second argument is the address of the receiving device. The data, which in this case is string, has to be converted to Unicode bytes through this function bytes. Exception handling is used here in order to catch no connection error between the two peripherals. So within the try statement, we wait for receiving values from the Arduino. Once received, it is stored into this uh, string variable. Then we display the value of the string variable on the output widget here. If there is no connection between the two devices, then an exception will occur and it will be caught by the exception statement and a message will be displayed here indicating that transmission error has occurred. Now we look at the sketch on the Arduino. This library enables uh, Ethernet communication between the two devices. This library enables UDB data protocol and this library enables the SPI connection between the shield and the Arduino Uno. Next, we create this byte array to store the MAC address of the shield. Then we store the IP address of the shield. This character array will be used to store the incoming bytes from the uh, Python sketch. Then the incoming bytes will be converted to string and stored in this uh, string variable. This uh, variable will be used to store the received packet size and then we create this UDP object. Inside the setup function, 
we initialize the Ethernet to the MAC and IP address of the shield and then we initialize UDP to port 5000. Inside the loop function we get the size of the receive packet. If it is greater than zero it means we have received data. If we have received data then we read the data and store the incoming bytes into this uh, array of uh, characters. And then we convert the uh, received data to string and then we apply a simple processing by converting the received character letters to uppercase. And then we initialize the packet for sending and then we send the received data back to the uh, Python sketch. And then we end the packet send. And finally in this statement here we reset the packet array to zero. In future videos, peripherals and sensors connected to the Arduino will be controlled via Ethernet connected Python GUI. Thank you for watching.